what do you think has Amazon always had the exact same policy regarding bundles and why do you think they're starting to enforce it only now? Yeah, they have always had this policy. It's I, I think one, they're probably getting flack from major brands because mm-hmm. you, it is usually major brands that we see being bundled under somebody else's brand. Usually not a big brand, uh, usually just a brand that was created to make bundles on Amazon. Um, and so I think yep. they're getting a lot of pushback from a lot of these major brands. And I also think that they are at a point now where it probably isn't great for their customers that are, there are all of these misbranded products being sold on their website because it is somewhat misleading um, and people don't necessarily understand what it is that they're buying. Yeah, for for sure. And I haven't had any problems with any of my bundles. And that's probably because I, all the brands that I use, if I named them now, probably 99% of the people listening have never heard of them. So mm-hmm. I work with smaller brands. They A lot of them sell very well, um, but they're definitely not household brands. But you're seeing a majority of them are with big household brands that most people would know? Yeah, and we're also seeing the majority of the account suspensions are accounts that are creating large amounts of these bundles. Mm. Um, So it's usually not just they have one or two of these listings and then a bunch of other different kinds of listings. It's usually a large percentage of their catalog or a large number of incorrect bundles within their catalog. And to be clear, like you can make correct bundles mm-hmm. as, as long as you follow their policy in terms of what the brand of the bundle is and and what category it goes in. Yeah. So and that seems to be the key thing, right? If if you have branded products in your package, then whatever the most expensive product is, that needs to be the brand of the bundle, correct? Uh, yeah, and that also dictates the category of the bundle. And the category, so, yeah. So, so, yeah, the most expensive is what the ex- most expensive item is what Amazon calls the main item yep. in the bundle, and, and so so that dictates the brand and and the category. And I think the reason why a lot of sellers aren't using the the major brand as the brand is because they usually don't have authorization from the brand, exactly, and so then yeah. they can't provide the branded UPC code that would allow them to create that bundle. Correct. Yeah. So you, if you want to do it, you're pretty much forced to do it under your own UPC. Well, or get letter of authorization from the brand, which some people do do and, and create fully compliant bundles that way. So like if you're working with smaller brands, it would probably be fairly easy to get authorization from them to create those bundles. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and that's typically what I do is usually get, I'm, I'm usually already partnering with them in some way anyways to sell their products. And then I'm like, well, Let's make this bundle and uh, sell a lot more, and usually they're they're good with that. So, um, but I I don't necessarily list it under their brand all the time. Sometimes I do uh, if they're willing to give me a UPC, but if they're not, then I'll just list it under you know my generic brand that I have set up for the bundles. But I think the odds of those ever getting taken down are are pretty low. Because it sounds like, at least right now, Amazon is just looking at the the people who are giving them some flack, the brands who are saying, hey, we don't want all this going on kind of thing. Yeah, it is still a violation of the policy, though. Yeah. I, would, I would recommend listing it under the correct brand. Uh, you can also request a UPC exemption for bundles. It's usually just because if the brand is a major brand, they don't allow exemptions. For those bundles, yeah. um, but also just in general, any item that you're bundling, you want to make sure that you have a letter of authorization from that brand, even if they aren't the main brand in the bundle, because what they're asking these sellers for are letters of authorization from every single brand that they bundle.